and now we're going to make a few other changes. So the next thing I want us to do is I want to make it so that you can actually get sick when you're touching a health, like if a healthy dot is touching a sick dot, you want it to get um, sick, right? So let's think about this. Um, when I start as a clone, if my health equals sick, change blah, 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 and then wait till I get better. Okay, that's fine. What if your health equals um, healthy? So let's go ahead and say um, else, because right, if you're this, this all would happen if you were sick. So um, if your health is sick, you're going to do all this stuff. Okay. But if you're not sick, that means you're healthy. So if I'm healthy, what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait until I'm touching a sick dot. Okay. So I'm going to say, um, wait until touching, touching color. And what color am I supposed to be touching? Well, sick dots are red. So they're all red, far to the right as possible. Right, 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 100, 100, 100. Okay, so if I'm touching this color, that means I'm uh, hitting a sick dot, right? Okay, now I'm going to say, yeah, to make me sick. So control um, set So it's my health. So set my health. This is how I'm feeling. So I'm going to set my health to sick. Oops, has to be spelled correctly. Sick. And then I'm going to wait until not touching color red. And wait until. So otherwise, you just keep touching the person again and again and again. Nothing changes. Wait until not touching color red. So I'm going to do that here. Wait until not sensing touching color. And what color is it? It is 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100. Even if this was off by one number, it would not be the same. So set the uh, thing to sick. OK, so when I start as a clone forever, let's see what happens. So now, if you're touching a red dot, you're going to get sick too. OK, and we can now see that way more of the dots are red because they're, and occasionally they blink blue. But whenever a, a blue dot is touching a red dot, it gets sick. But you know what's interesting is that's not how this illness works. It's not like 100% transmissibility. Transmissibility is how easy it is to get sick from somebody else who is sick. So let's go ahead and create a variable called transmissibility. Transmissibility. Boy, I hope I miss. Oh, I did misspelled it. It's red, so now I'm going to figure out how to actually spell that. Transmissibility. Hmm. Okay. It's for all sprites. And I'm going to make this a slider again. So it goes from 0 up to 100. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, wait until touching color red. Um, oh, shoot. Transmissibility. Let me just think. Yes, that's fine. So transmissibility goes up to 100. So I'm now going to put an if statement in here. Okay, um, if 1 to 100, so a random number 1 to 100, or well, I don't want 1 to 100. Yeah, yeah, that's right. 1 to 100 is less than transmissibility, right? So the higher the transmissibility is, the more infectious it should be. So pick random 1 to 100, and if it's less than transmissibility, then I want you to get sick. I, mean, I don't want you to get sick, but you will get sick. So, boom. I think I've done this. So let's see. If transmissibility is 100%, then everybody's going to get sick, just like before. 
Yep, everybody's sick. Okay, let's stop this. If transmissibility is only 10%, that means very rarely do you get sick by touching somebody who is sick. We should have more blues. And we do. And if we decrease the speed, they'll all turn blue. Because right, they're all going to get healthy over time. Let's see how long, recovery time is 10 seconds. So if we make them really slow, it should be everybody getting healthy. Yep, they're all recovering. Okay, this works out really well. I think I've got a functioning model here. Now, the only thing that I'm missing is an idea about why we care about how many people are infected and stuff like that. Why do we care about all these things? Because hospitals will become overloaded if there are too many sick people. So the first thing I want to do is I want to rearrange my variables, my sliders. I'm going to put them all at the top. So my sliders are going to go all at the top. Recovery time. And transmissibility. And percent sick. I don't know why I like that more than I do. Okay, now the next thing I want is I basically want to say the hospitals are overloaded if um, more than 20% of your population is sick. Okay, great. So the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to create a new variable and I'm going to draw it myself. And I'm going to make it red, red, and I'm basically just going to type something. So I'm going to take this, choose a font, Let's see. Um, I guess this is okay. Okay, hospital overload. Perfect. I'm going to center that. All right. Hmm. It's a little bit too big. Um, all right, I'll make it a little smaller. Hospital overload. Okay. You know what else I should do? I think I should put a little box around it so that you actually can really see it. Because right now it's going to be covered with the dots. So I'm going to put a fill box around it. And my fill box is going to be, uh, I don't know, white. No. There we go. White. I'm going to put a fill box around it. Okay. Boom. And I'm going to send that, that backwards. There we go. Hospital overload. Okay. And I'm going to put an outline around that. My outline is also going to be red and very thin. Okay. Hospital overload. Oh, that looks nice. Look at that. Okay. Um, and now I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. I'll make it smaller here. Make it 90% size. Let's see what that does. There we go. That's nice. All right, now what am I going to do with my hospital overload? Simple. I'm going to go here, and I'm going to say, look, I want you to be hidden in if the uh, percent sick is less than 20%. So I get a control here, or an event, I guess. Event, and then forever. If percent sick is less than 20%. If percent sick is less than 20, great. Then I'm going to just say, looks, hide. I don't want you at all around. Otherwise, what I want you to do is I want you to show um, and um, I kind of want it to blink. So I want it to show <coughs> control, wait a tenth of a second, and then hide. Is that going to work? Let's find out what happens. OK, so no one's sick. Yeah, hospital overload. I think it's blinking a little bit too fast. So I'm going to say uh, 0 0.5 seconds. 
half a second. Let's see. All right, this is perfect. So let's see if I can get enough to be better, if I can get them to be healthier. So right now, the rec I'm gonna decrease the recovery time. So I'm gonna make it so that they get uh, better faster. Maybe we have better medical care. I'm gonna slow them down a little bit so that people don't keep getting each other sick. And look, my hospital overload went away. So now that you've actually built this project, because you have really built this project, I'd like you to experiment with different sorts of uh, things, you know, like go ahead and hit stop. Say that the sick at start is only, I don't know, let's say it's 10 people, okay? But everyone's moving around pretty fast, like at a 50. The recovery time, let's say that's pretty short, so five seconds, remember, because it's this divided by 10. Transmissibility is only 10%. So let's see what how sick people get and whether we end up with a hospital overload. Okay, we do end up with a hospital overload and we can see our numbers climbing. Our percent sick is up to 40%. So if you were a public health official, you'd say, okay, that's not gonna work. So what do we have to do? Let's, let's get people to stay at home a little bit more. Let's get them just to slow down their interactions with each other. You could think of this as like wearing masks or staying home or whatever. So now they move much more slowly. Can we make sure that we don't have a hospital overload? Look at that, they went away immediately. So um, what if transmissibility was higher? Would that be enough of a slowdown to keep the hospitals from being overloaded? No. Okay, so even a small increase in transmissibility changes our situation. So this is what modeling is all about. You get to actually experiment with the model. And now that you've built the whole thing, I'm gonna clean this up by the way. Um, to do that, you hit either the control or the option button, I always forget. And then you clean it up and then you can see all the blocks. Just going through all the blocks slowly for you so that you can freeze this video if you needed to. So that's all the blocks here. And then the only block here is this. Okay, and um, I'm gonna add one more thing here. I'm gonna add a weight. I wanna put a weight here. Maybe 0 0.4, 0.4. Yeah, I like that. I think that looks better. Hospital overload. Okay. Um, that is the end of our project for the COVID model. So if you've built this and you've also experimented with this, um, then you are good to go. Um, make sure that when you have your person, probably one of the most important things is that your second costume has to be uh, red, 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 because otherwise it won't work. So all of those have to be on 100, 100, 100. All right, voila.